you uh, for watching this video. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to uh, install and configure uh, our premium WordPress plugin. So if you log into uh, the dashboard, this is what you're going to be presented with. Uh, on the left hand side, you're going to see a panel called WordPress plugin. You're going to want to click on WordPress audit log. Once there, you'll be greeted with this page. You're going to want to type in the name, domain name right in this area right here. To do that, simply come to the other tab where you have your site open. You can uh, right click copy, come back to the tab with the security dashboard, right click paste. Once there, you'll see add site. Once added, it's going to create a unique authentication key for you. Now let's go ahead and add that to WordPress. So if you go into your WordPress panel, this is what it should look like. Click on plugins, go to add new. Go to Upload, choose File, oh, and I forgot to download, so let's download really quick. Cancel that, go back to your security dashboard, click on Download. You can see it's been downloaded right here. It's going to go into my Downloads directory. Go back to your dashboard, choose File, click on Security WP Plugin, go ahead and open that, click Install Now. Go ahead and activate your plugin. You can see that it popped up right here. Go to your settings of the plugin. Go ahead and replace that key with a, a new one. So let's delete that. Paste a new one. Save your values. And then click on dashboard. And just like that, it should be working. And you can see here that it's pulled in my history so that I'm able to see all the things that I've done. For instance, one of the things that you'll notice that I can do is you can track and audit what's going on. Say, for instance, I want to create a page. And I create a new page. And I say, this is another test. And I say, this is another test. And I go ahead and publish that. Once that is published, you'll be able to go back to your dashboard. And you will be able to see that I created a new post state change from private to published. And the name of the post is called This is Another Test. It's actually a page, but same thing. We posted information that was published. You can also see here that I've enabled my plugin. So all this from an auditing standpoint is very, very good. The other option you have, the other thing you want to be aware of actually is this block list. If you go to the block list, Blocked IPs are all the malicious IPs that have been blocked accessing your site. The whitelisted IPs are the IPs of your server and the IP of your location from which you installed the plugin. That's very important. We assume that the location that you're installing is your home residence or your private business or some secure network. In that instance, you want to whitelist it to ensure that you don't block yourself out doing any activities. Um, when when the WAF is working or the web application web application firewall is working, it'll block IPs. When they list them here, you will have the option to click to remove. Same as I have here, click to remove. Uh, just be careful that if you remove it, then they can continue to attack you. You have the option to scan within your site as you require. Then you also have the option to do some hardening. We have a few different options here for hardening. They're really straightforward. Simply click on it. And it'll harden and you'll be off and running to the races. Um, if you have any questions, you could always go to your dashboard here, go to general request, and simply submit subject and say plugin help. Hi, I have an issue. Can you please help me? Be sure to provide some description. You want to provide as much description as possible so that we're able to help you. Submit request. And that's it. There's nothing more to do. With that, you've now installed the plugin. You uh, have a web application firewall installed at the application layer of your uh, website. Um, you also have the ability to come into the dashboard and see all the activity without logging into your WP admin panel, which is a very unique feature as well that uh, all our clients are offered. If you have any questions, again, please simply log in and ask away. Thank you very much for your time.